Hello, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we will solve a react problem. This is one of the problems I usually ask to the freshers or the HD ones during the interview. So this is the simplest problem I ask. Yet it is one of the problems that shows how better the candidate knows about the react and it's working. So let's see the problem and I'll show you two solutions to this. So the problem statement read as we have to create two buttons, two buttons, start and stop. When I click on the start, a counter should start from zero and it should increment every one second. When I click on stop, this counter should pause and when I click back on the start button, right, the counter should resume from where it has stopped. So this we have to implement. Now many folks, right, whenever I ask this during the interviews, around 70% of people what they do is they think that because we have to increment the counter from zero right and on every second the first approach that comes to their mind is using the set interval and it's quite straightforward and i think that's what usually i have done uh, if i had interviewed for this question during my pressures or when i was pressure so we'll follow the uh, same solution so we'll see the same solution uh, what uh, the candidates usually use for the first time so let's go ahead and create two buttons so let me first import use state over here because we'll require this to uh, persist the counters and then i'm creating two buttons here as stated in the problem statement we require two buttons so one is start and Stop. Now, and we have to show the count. So count here will show the count variable, and let's extract this from the state. So let's say count and set count, and then we'll initialize the state with zero because our counter will start from zero. So let's run this. We should see the start and stop button. Yeah, so it's working fine. Now we'll be following the similar approach that most of the candidates follow. So we'll see the implementation of set interval. All we do is we'll create two functions on start and on stop. In on start, we'll start with the set interval, and in on stop, we'll clear the interval. So because we have to start in the on start and then clear in the on stop function right there are two different functions for um, starting the interval and clearing the interval so as you may be aware right to clear the interval we require interval id now when the interval starts it returns a id that we need to store somewhere and then we can use that to clear it so either we can store that in a state or we can use the use ref use ref hook so use ref hook is basically is used to define a variable kind of variable so we can use the use ref hook, uh, use ref hook to define a variable as well as we can use it to create references for the dom elements so basically what it does is when you create a reference it will persist the uh, value that you are pointing it to so it can be either a value or a dom element and it will persist that so we will be using useref uh, use as a uh, variable to store the set interval id and later we can use so that later we can use it to stop the interval by clearing it so let's say timer id ref and then we say use ref and it will initialize with sorry null now let's create two functions on start and on stop so const on start
and here what we will do is we will assign the so user f who returns an object and that object has a property current that is that we can use to persist the value so even for the creating references or storing anything in the user f we have to use this dot current property and on that we say set time set interval sorry set interval and here on every second right we have to increase the count so we'll say count plus one now we have to create another function so let's copy this and then on stop so basically what we'll do is we'll just get this clear this out and we'll just clear the interval when on stop is invoked so this will clear the timer id and stop the timer from running now these two functions we have to invoke on the button click so on click and then here as well and here we have to on start so on the start of the click it should start on the stop of the click it should stop so I think we have the solution ready. Let's try to run this. So I'm running the program again. Now, if I click on the start, right, you will see the counter only goes from zero to one. Now, this is where majority of thresholds get stuck. They don't understand that even if they are using set interval, the state is not updating and they become clueless like why the state is not updating. So the problem over here is right because set interval runs in a different queue and also because we are not using a use effect hook right to uh, to notify the app that this function and this value has been updated so every time it reference count right every time we try to reference the counts value it get it as zero only so it is running the loop is running but when it's trying to fetch the value of count it's getting zero and it's adding one to that so that's why the count is always one it does not change now to make this work right all we have to do is the set count or any method that you state returns right to update the uh, state it accepts a callback function as well so it accepts a value as well as a callback function and in the callback function we get the previous state so here we get the previous state so which is the count or you call it previous state or i'm just referring it as a count so here let's say previous count i call this just for the simplification and now what we have to do is we have to return previous count plus one so what it will do is after the state update rather than referring to the variable count it will always check for its previous state and then get the value of the previous state and increment it so if i run this now you will see that it's working fine and if i stop this the counter is stopped if i click back on the start it will resume from there so this is one solution to solve this problem now to better understand right why the state does not object in the uh, set interval or the timer functions there is an article by dan who is one of the core member for the react who has um, created the react library so he has explained it on his blog i will paste this link to you in the video article you can go through that and improve your knowledge let's see the second solution for this so this is the one way to solve this problem there is another way to solve this problem so let's keep this as it is let's keep the start and stop function also let me remove everything from here now in this uh, solution we had seen it through set interval now in this in, in the current solution we will see how we can create or implement the same thing using set timeout and use effect hook both so here let me 
include use effect so as you may know right use effect hook is invoked for three life cycle cases one is every time the component is mounted or created second is whenever the dependency updates so use effect hook accepts an array of dependencies and whenever any of those dependency updates the use effect hook will be called and the third is when the component has updated and it's about to re-render so there will be a cleanup or a unmount state happening so then also it will be called so because on every update right the use effect hook is called we can leverage that and we can create a recursion with that so what do i mean by recursion is because the count is updated right so set count value changes from 0 to 1 the state updates the use effect hook will be called because we will pass the count as a dependency to it so it will invoke the set timeout set timeout will update the state again once the state updates use effect will be called again it will again invoke the set timeout set timeout will invoke the state uh, sorry update the state and so on so it will keep on going in a cycle now let's just implement this so i will require another state here to start the timer so just i'm creating another state set start and here i am setting its value initial value as false now i'll pass two dependencies to the use effect hook and here i'll say if we are asked to start the counter create a set timeout so using the same reference we'll say set timeout for every one second and here set count count plus one now because the component is mounting and everything is going in sync right we don't have to access the previous state we can directly reference to the variable here and it will get the updated value now we have created this let's add a unmount function or a cleanup so every time the component updates right it will go through unmount and then mount again so all we have to do is because the timeout has run right and it's about to update so because the timer has run and we don't have any use case of uh, set timeout anymore we'll clear it so timer id rev dot current on the update because the use effect will be called again this will run again and on the cleanup we have to clear this so simple now whenever the start button is clicked right all we have to do is we have to say say that start the timer so set set start as true set start when the value updates it will come to the use effect it will check if yeah we have to start so condition meets it will start the timer and things will run on the stop the first thing we have to do is we have to stop the timer if we are clicking the stop button which is in between the previous and the next cycle so here all we have to do is first stop the timer and second thing we have to set the state as false so that no subsequent call should be made so use effect when the state updates it will come here and then for the every subsequent updates right it will check if the condition meets or not it will always fail because we have set the start as false so it should not run now this is how we can do the second solution so let me run this now if you see i click on the start button it's running fine and if i click on the stop the counter has stopped if i click back on the start it will resume so this is how it should be implemented now whenever you go for interview right providing multiple solutions or even one approach with clear knowledge right so if you create a solution and you explain the every aspect of the working so if you have written certain code right you should explain that to your interviewer that this is how the flow goes 
this shows that whatever you are writing you know that it's not something that you have memorized and you know the internal working of the framework or the stuff in which you are coding so that's it i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time